I just love the light on a foggy morning. I'm on my way to my brother's house where he and my sister-in-law are going to help me transform my Pacifica minivan. This is how the back of the minivan used to look. Kind of crowded back there, not the best organization, and the third row seats are folded into the floor. That's really a waste of space. Everything back there is going to be a little safer. It's not going to fly. It'll be blocked by that very solid chair. So I think it's going to not only give me more room, but it's actually going to be safer. Here we go. Everything's out. The bed's out. Even the flooring is out. All the furniture that was in there, rugs, the mattress, all this junk. Oh my goodness, I think I'm going to get rid of a lot of this. There are things in here that I haven't used in more than a year. I sold my home in Florida December of 2021, so I've been full-time on the road since then. There's some vacuuming to do. That's almost a good reason to do a transformation like this, just to get to the bottom of things. Now, isn't that beautiful? Wait till you see what I do with all this room. And that chair... That's going to protect everything back here. These shelves are the first thing that I added back into that new space that I have behind the third row. Hypertuff four shelf metal storage rack. Each shelf holds 350 pounds. I think that'll do the job. One of the things that I really liked about this shelving system is that you can adjust it by the inch. Here's how it looked when I first started putting things in there. It's a little bare. A lot more to go in there, but you can get a good look at the shelves here. Got a new refrigerator, my little tiny Alpacool. You might recognize a similar refrigerator from the Lulu Van Tour video. I'm going to take an idea of hers and show you what I'm doing with it. I don't need quite as much refrigeration space as she had, but I do like having some freezer space. That's going to be nice. This is a trunk organizer that I got on Amazon. Fits nicely down here. There's room in front of it and there's room behind it that you won't be able to see here. But I've got some things tucked right behind this organizer that I won't need very often. One end of this trunk organizer has an insulated section with a zippered top. I'll freeze all of these little ice packs and put half of them down in the insulated section of the trunk organizer. And I can put fruits and vegetables, cheese, butter, eggs, uh, all sorts of things down there. So that's still going to leave room to have some frozen vegetables, some frozen fruits. It'll be nice to have that as an option. And look at that thing with the orange around there. It's not my color, but oh my goodness, I am so grateful for this Opez, or however you pronounce it, power station. It's a 1200 watt power station. I'm going to do a thorough review of this power station a little later. I'm really loving this thing. It's dependable. It charges fast. It holds the charge. I still have the little Blue Eddy. I think it's a 700 watt. I've never done a real review of the Blue Eddy because my mother always told me, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. I've got it bungee cord in real solid here. And I'm going to bungee cord the Alpacool and the Oops power station also. Got my little cooking utensils down in there. You can see there's a space there for all sorts of things. Now I've got things in a little better order. I'm sure I'm going to be changing a lot, but I've got the solar panels over here on the left. I've got bins in here, which make it super nice. And then down on the bottom, there's all of Coco's food and her things, some cleaning supplies. Still room to put more in here. I've got a bunch of magnets that like to stick onto the shelves. I've got water and butane and zip fizz in that bin. And over here I've got extra garbage bags and paper towels. And behind the paper towels there's a collapsible sink. 
Those are great. This bin is full of canned food. A lot more could go in there. Then there's one with more cocoa stuff. Right here there are three little bins that could have all sorts of things in it. They're not full yet. Goes way back. Lots of room there. This bigger bin has some utensils, some metal utensils, has some spices and various things. Not very well organized just yet. Still figuring out where things go. I got this little electric burner for when I have shore power. I thought it might be nice to cook inside sometimes. I don't like butane inside. Probably won't use it very much. This is the rooftop box that I had for a year. And all of that time I struggled with it. And eventually I ended up using duct tape to secure it. So when I got back to Gainesville where I bought it at REI, even though it was three weeks over the warranty, they volunteered to replace it with a brand new Yakima rooftop box. Now the new Yakima, oh my goodness, it closes so easy. This is the way it should have been for an entire year. But they replaced it for me. They even installed the new one. The new one was $107 less, so they gave me a refund of $107. I'm absolutely not sponsored by REI. They didn't ask for a review. Isn't it nice to hear good news sometimes? And this is my latest addition. This is the cover for my back hatch. When the hatch is open, it's black light. Got the moon and the butterflies. I don't know if you can see it, but they're on the water. Didn't show up on camera as much as I hoped it had would. This is what's replacing the toucans. It's very pretty in the daytime too.